This one is hilarious, but I love it. I found it on Arizona Custom Knives. This is a fork and a knife built together. But look at that knife. It's made out of titanium, so it's super lightweight. Like, insanely light. So if you need to eat steak, meat, whatever, uh, bring with you camping, that's awesome because that knife is really, really stone. Just, I guess, whenever you eat it, eat it from this side. It's pretty sharp on that side as well. I don't know. Would you guys use one of these fork knives? You know how there is a spork? It's a fork and a spoon. How would you call this? And like, uh, you'd have to put this uh, knife and a fork together in one word. Uh, let me know in comments below with any ideas for the name for this thing because it's a fork knife looks like I love the colors to it look at that design so you can cut up meat and use a fork lifting it up like a steak chicken whatever that is kind of hard to eat without a knife and a fork now you get both a really nice knife cut it up boom don't have to waste time all at once and it comes with one of this really good knife fork holder come sits in there pretty tight got it here another very unique uh, keychain a little necklace knife it comes with a certificate of authenticity check this out the logo beautiful so how does this work as you can see it's pretty decent size for keychain and um, it's not going to cut you because it's hidden away the way to open it, you gotta push it either this way or this way, but it's kind of locks into it. And you pull it all the way through. This one is uh, actually not sharpened, so it's more like of a pry bar, in a sense. You would have to hold it and use it to break up the boxes, I mean open them and stuff like that. I think it would work really well. You can always sharpen it up, but yeah, I think it's more of a pry bar right now because it's not sharpened. So very unique little folding knife, miniature one, you hold it this way and fold it out. And it has sharp enough corners to cut to the tape really easily. Unless you sharpen it for other things. Either way, I thought it was a super unique design and that's what I always look for. Everyday keychain or little necklace knife, folding knife. Next I got it here, Carabina from Amazon. There's a brand, uh, so very unique. Uh, and it has a little precision knife right here, pretty replaceable. Let's see how easy it is to take it out. Lift this end and slide it out. There you go, you slide it out like that. You see there's a little groove on the front. That's what we're pretty much doing. Slide it in, into the groove. And lock it in, that's it. So, very nice precision knife, like a box cutter, beautiful, like in super nice. It has a magnet or something, let's see. It pulls in there really good. So it will hold pretty nice, it shouldn't come out by itself. Beautiful, and it has a little a bottle opener and a screwdriver measuring tool. And you can put it over the power cord or the keychain. Love it. Next I got right here the tie card. The last ditch tool you will always have with you. Slightly thicker than a credit card. Tie card made in USA. So tie card, from what I understand it's titanium. There's a little glue on it. We can remove that really easily. So you'd hold it I guess this way. So definitely could easily break up boxes. That looks beautiful. There's a corner and it's sharp enough. There's a bottle opener, and that's it. Wow, check this out. So you'd hold it like this with the right hand. Super interesting, I love the colors to it. Kind of changing colors once you touch it and stuff. So the idea of this uh, credit card size knife, you stick it in your wallet, obviously the knife forward. So in case you need uh, something to break up the boxes and whatever, you have a card like that quite comfortable holding it like that. I would use it every day opening up boxes but it's a kind of like a last resort put it in your wallet. Next we got right here another tech accessory keychain measuring tape and this one Damascus steel I think that's what it called but let's pull it out 
and as you can see it comes with one of these holders and a keychain in so what we'll do is open this side here remove the cover and there is a spring with our measuring tape then we grab our keychain holder and place it like that there you go it says do not push it to uh, on the instruction you wanna do it this way and then place this in and put the screw back in tighten it up all the way but without staping it look at that Damascus steel I think that's what it's called on this side it's not painted it's actually the metal been folded many times to where you have this kind of design from what I understand and then you have right here a layer keychain uh, how many inches that is probably like three feet one foot two foot three foot or three feet is that cool there is a logo push all the way back and you can put this uh, keychain holder on it so you can put it on the keys that looks awesome I love that design they have different colors of that but yeah you just take it off place one of these things you don't want to squish in there because it will bend and won't fit you want to take it apart put this uh, keychain in on it and then screw it back together but yeah super cool tiny little uh, measuring tool next I got it here at Arizona custom knives Jordan metal art marker bit twist so this is cool look how tiny screwdriver that is perfect for a keychain feels good looks stylish there's uh, I guess uh, JK I'm not sure what it says 4k oh J and K now I see the logo and uh, it comes with the Allen wrench why do we need Allen wrench because it's simply exposed and plugged in like that uh, it has a screw tightening just take it off a little bit now you can easily remove it I don't think there is magnet or anything so simple as that plug it in use any kind of Allen wrench tighten it back up and you got it here different bit screwdriver so simple but so cool put on your keychain with this little ropey it's just so beautiful you have a screwdriver at any time with your car keys or whatever house keys replace one tighten it back up I love that that's a cool invention and beautiful but simple uh, why didn't I think of that got it right here keychain kinetic spinners three different kinds that kind of beautiful don't you guys think I love this different design uh, so let's pop them out you see the spinner on the bottom there's another one it reminds me of that um, keychain holder but I think this one holds up pretty good whenever you plug it in in and out this way don't do it with the measuring tape because it will not hold up this different materials it will just unbend that is cool so you can keep it on the keychain if you want to take one out grab it that is so unique i never seen a spinner like that then you just spin it probably you gotta do it on a really good flat table you see how it spins pretty cool let's start with this one instead this is going to be my favorite one right here spin it the other way got a good spin and as you can see it's kind of like illusion on this one so it's pretty satisfying which one do you guys like the best this one has pretty cool light reflection on you can use them this way too that's pretty satisfying look how fast it's going wow did you hear that practice spinning it there you go or you can just spin it this way and that thing is so satisfying wobbling it has such a nice precision cut shoot around look at that it's illusion in itself look how fast it's going wow I love it and for the last gadget I got it here CRKT 
hex bead driver tool roll. Uh, this thing's actually pretty awesome. Probably the coolest tool roll kit I've ever seen. First of all, it's not pushed in all the way. Let's push it all the way in. It would look like this. Boom. So, beautiful roll. What does it say over here? Scott Tools Design. So that's a designer who made this tool. You have right here a clip made out of leather. Um, open it all the way. And look at these beads. That's just one of a kind, super unique. And you have right here the Scott Tool Design marked on a tool. And this side right here spins. Not the coolest spinner I've seen. Sometimes you can get these things are super fidgety. Love it. But what it's for, whenever you put it on your hand like that, you don't have to hold it. You put it in the screw and it spin it, unspin it. See, I can hear it here. Looks like a brass. You see how brass have changed colors? I love when brass changes colors, tarnish a little bit. And whenever you want to change the um, a little bit, let's say we need one of this regular one, put this one in and it just leather roll and it's so easy to take one in and out. That's so cool, it's so unique but so smart. Maybe adjust it better to where it fits all the way and kind of straighter, that's cool. And then put another one in and there you go. So you can spin it and unspin it super easily. Very comfortable. And you have right here a screwdriver with all of these different kind of attachments. I love it. So unique. What do you guys think? Would you use that? I think this is perfect for any situation. Just roll it up, stick it in your pocket. Doesn't take too much space. Obviously, it will soften it up after you use it more and more. But yeah, beautiful set. I like that one a lot.